My name is Philip Benyon. I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in sports medicine and shoulder surgery. I actually finished up high school here and then I went to Utah for my undergraduate training at Brigham, Brigham Young University. That was a four-year program and from there I went to med medical school at Creighton University and uh, that was a four-year program there. Uh, after finishing that, we actually moved to Akron, Ohio, where I completed my orthopedic training, and that was a five-year program. And uh, from there, we went to the um, great state of Texas, and I did a fellowship in shoulder and elbow surgery in Dallas, Texas, and that was a one-year program there. Once I finished that, I came back to Phoenix, Arizona, and set up practice, and I've been here ever since. As a sports medicine and shoulder surgeon, I treat a lot of patients with primarily shoulder and knee issues. I really see my role as keeping patients doing what they want to do. I want people to be able to participate in sports and take care of uh, the daily activities around their house. Patients will often tell me that they actually can't sleep at night and um, that's probably the most common symptom that brings people into the physician's office. ACL reconstruction is really gratifying as a surgeon because it allows us to restore function to patients who are active and it gets them back doing what they want to do in fairly short order. The surgical procedure itself is also gratifying because we are able to go in with an arthroscopically assisted technique so we don't have to make large incisions and we're able to go in with a camera, identify the pathology, clean it up and then restore the anatomy by putting a graft in that essentially recreates the native ACL and by doing so we perform an anatomical reconstruction with a minimally invasive technique. Hi, I'm Tammy Ortiz. I'm a nurse and I've worked in the orthopedic industry for the last 30 plus years. I have been working with Dr. Benin for the past 10 years, maybe even close to 15 by now. And when um, I injured my knee, I went to him to have surgery. And when my son-in-law injured his knee, I referred him to Dr. Benin as well, and he did a surgery. He's genuine, he is an excellent surgeon, excellent bedside manner, and he's as genuine with his patients as he is with the nursing staff and with them. Um, everybody else that he encounters. One of the more common procedures that I perform is arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. The best thing about this procedure is that it works in a high number of cases and it's able to restore function for a high percentage of patients with this problem. The second reason I like it is because we've advanced really far in the past 10 to 15 years to the point where essentially approaching 100% of our repairs are done arthroscopically, which means that we don't have to make large incisions, we just use very tiny incisions, essentially just big enough to get the camera through, just a few millimeters, and through that incision we're able to restore the anatomy by sewing the rotator cuff back down where it belongs and that restores function. It also is uh, associated with less pain after the procedure, having a lower incidence of infection. It allows patients to go home the same day and it allows for a faster recovery. Another common procedure performed for the shoulder is total shoulder replacement. And that procedure is generally performed for patients who have an arthritic shoulder and that usually is associated with significant pain that is associated with reaching overhead or behind your back or laying on that side and commonly pain at night. One of the reasons I love doing this procedure is that the science of orthopedics has really grown by leaps and bounds in this category over recent years. So what this means for my patients is that when I perform the procedure, I'm able to use a minimally invasive technique, which translates to less pain to the patient and durable long-term pain relief. My name is Alan Shore. 
Uh, I wasn't able really to do a lot of anything with my shoulder. He didn't bring up big words that I don't know, you know, or medical terms. He was very good at explaining everything of what it was, what it did, what its function was. I'd say thank you, Dr. Bingham, for, for being honest, being real. You told me exactly what to expect. That's what's happened, and I feel like you've done a wonderful job, and thank you again. I was raised in Arizona, and then finished up high school, and then I went away for my training, and I feel very lucky that I was able to come back to Phoenix with my family, and I absolutely love treating patients and living here in Phoenix. In my free time, I like to spend time with my wife and two children. We're a pretty active family. I like cycling several times a week, including both mountain biking and road biking. I also like fishing. Uh, we like to do hikes. And um, being in Arizona is a great place to be to take advantage of all that stuff. If you need shoulder surgery, he's the first person I would consider.